What up, Fredera fans? Jonathan and PJ here with you today, and we're going to talk all about the Rife Euro series and what's all the cool features and what there is to love about these guns. Some of the most iconic spear guns of all time. All time. before? I have used one in my okay. life. Okay, one, okay. Yes. So I've shot one of these guys for many, many years, um, and I really like it. It's one of my like go-to, right? Um, I've used all the different rollers that are out there, mm -hmm. and all the crazy carbons, and everything like that. I always find myself coming back to my right bureau. It's just kind of this like, I don't know, it's almost like my my safety net or my, my security blanket <laughs> yeah. that I keep coming back to. Um, but uh, but yeah, so just a little bit about the guns themselves. Obviously it's a uh, solid wood stock, right? So from the muzzle all the way to the back, uh, the butt stock, you get this solid uh, piece, which is really nice. Um, some of the other guns that are out there, they um, ha separate like the butt stock from the barrel and put like a handle in the middle. Uh, these rife just attaches the handle to to the base plate. Yeah, uh, there are so many little things that rife puts into their guns that I like personally about them. Uh, for example, with their rife open track, um, I see guys having issues, or I should say they saw guys having issues with putting their shafts back in the track. And one of my favorite things about these guns is they have a little magnet inside the track up here it's called they call it the mag track and so when you're putting the new shaft that or the shaft back in the gun to reload it magnetizes itself and stays in there and slides right in making it so much easier to uh put the shaft back in like a and, quicker reload yeah, yes exactly sure. and they also not only come with an open track but they also come with an enclosed track which one do you use so I've got the open track, um, and so they've yeah they've been doing that mag track for for a while, and it is so nice because you can just drop the shaft underneath the bands, and that magnet sucks the shaft to the uh, the gun itself, making re-rigging a lot quicker. And two, if let's say that you you know don't want to redo the line all the way, you mm. can actually load the bands with the shaft only on the mag mm. track and shoot it just like that, right? So a lot of the guys that will uh, do free shafting, meaning they have no line on their gun whatsoever, mm -hmm. they literally sling steel down range yeah. and don't have anything attached to it. Seems a little scary to me, but <laughs> um, <laughs> seems expensive, I should say. Yeah, exactly. Um, but a lot of guys do it, especially where there's like no current and stuff like that, mm -hmm. definitely works out well. And that mag track is allowing you to do that. Um, what PJ mentioned as far as the enclosed track, uh, maybe only a couple of years ago, they started actually adding a, uh, a enclosed track, meaning that it is fully uh, holding on to the top of the shaft. So you could have no line on the gun whatsoever, flip this guy over. Uh, you could even pull the trigger, have it be not attached to the mechanism, and it would still stay in the gun. And we'll show a little clip of that right now. Um, but really, really cool um, design on the, on the guns. Definitely. Uh, another little thing I really do like about them is that they have kind of this standard short butt for chest loading. Mm -hmm. And for you hip loaders out there, we have the extended butt, the Euro X. Mm -hmm. And that kind of sets it apart from a lot of um, base factory guns because a lot of them, they come either standard, just like extended butt or right. short. Right. Um, so having those two different options, um, as far as the extended or the uh, non-extended is awesome because say you like you really like the gun itself but you're like oh i really like hip loading you have the option right here or i really like chest loading only you have this option right here so it uh, basically go the gun is perfect for really anybody as far as they, they like certain things with certain guns they have basically everything as far as the base right here right yeah. here it goes heck yeah and then the nice thing about that too is we've actually got a video showing you the differences of how to load the spear gun so we'll link that right here mm -hmm. the differences of loading chest loading versus loading hip loading um when you should when you shouldn't you know like you just mentioned all the different types of styles there so uh yeah really really nice um other little features about the gun, uh, you've got your safety, right? So back towards you is safe and forward is fire. Uh, you have a, a nice rubberized textured grip 
on that uh, handle as well. So it gives it a nice, good hand feel. It's uh, I've seen some of the grips out there that are really fat and they're kind of like you don't really get a full uh, grip on the handle. And then I've also seen some that are a little bit too skinny to where you feel like you're not gripping enough. Uh, I found that the Rife handle is probably one of the more comfortable ones that I've found out there, uh, which is really nice. Um, so that's kind of cool. And they obviously you can replace all these parts, uh, not that you would ever need to. Um, but speaking of like longevity and replacing parts, right? Um, I actually have my gun um, mm -hmm. that has been around forever. Um, so this is, I doesn't look like much, but <laughs> it is in fact a Rife Euro. Um, and uh, this is the 110, which is the size uh, range that this is. And you can see there's quite a bit of uh, scars and bumps and scratches and bruises on this thing, but the only thing I've ever replaced is the shaft because I keep shooting big fish and keep bending them. Uh, the bands because <laughs> they keep, uh, you know, after a year or so I like to change my bands, keep it nice and fresh. And then uh, I've had the gun so long that the, the rubber itself uh, actually ended up going bad on the buttstock. The handle mm -hmm. is still the original handle and obviously the stock is still the original stock. They've mm -hmm. changed the uh, the shape actually, it used to, used to route yeah. uh, over the edges and now they keep them all nice and square. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, the mech is exactly the same mech that it was in the beginning. I haven't changed it uh, out at all. Uh, this gun has actually spent more time underwater than I have. Uh, <laughs> I've lost this gun probably three or four times. Uh, the longest was a two week stint uh, and then found it again. So this gun has had more water time than I have. Wow. So yeah, <laughs> needless to say, if you buy the gun the right size and everything that you need, it can be the last gun that you'll ever own, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it's still straight as an arrow. Some of the other wood guns out there, you'll tend to see like Warp. warp yeah. warping and bowing. So yeah, I'm super stoked on the right Hero. As you can see, I've been using mine for quite some time. Definitely. Uh, what I also really like about the Rife Hero personally mm -hmm. are two things. The shaft that comes standard with it. It's a stainless steel shaft and it comes with these big old long shark fin tabs. But the reason why I like stainless steel is because stainless steel does not rust. And that is huge for somebody, like I see it all the time with people just starting out spear fishing and they want a nice gun that will last them a long time. And I always recommend the Rife Hero because like you were saying, they'll last you forever. Right. I mean, no offense, Literally, but look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but, old, we get yeah. it, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> but also, uh, uh, you're not, a lot, most of those people are going out once, twice a week and they're not burning through shafts like some of us out right. here. So they want a shaft that will last them a long time. These stainless steel shafts, like I said, will never rust on you and you can keep them whether you keep it in the boat, in the garage, or I wouldn't recommend keeping it in the boat or in the garage, but it will yeah, not it rust on you. Yeah. Um, and it'll last you almost, I mean, depending on how well you take care of it and what kind of fish you shoot, it could last you the entire time you use the gun. Yeah, and I've seen some of these guys, like guys that are actually older than me, and are <laughs> but guys that are older than me bring these guns in and they do have the original shaft and it's mm -hmm. not because they haven't shot big fish, but they just maybe got lucky or you know, they didn't shoot as big a fit or whatever mm -hmm. it may be. And the shafts still look fine, right? Like yeah. obviously use for sure. But uh, like you mentioned that, that heat treated mm -hmm. stainless steel makes a huge, huge difference in uh, the way that it reacts to the salt water. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of other shafts out there on the market that they don't rust for a time. Mm -hmm. And then after you've shot a lot of fish and the coatings get worn off, uh, then they start to rust after that. So yeah, all in all, super stoked on the, the Rife Euro. If you guys do have any questions whatsoever, please be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below. And if you guys did find value in this content, please be sure to leave us a like. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel. We see you and we would love to get to know you better. So hit the subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. If you guys did find value in this content, please be sure to smash the like button. And if you guys have any questions on any of the content that you saw in this video or any of our other videos, be sure to leave a comment and we try to answer those as soon as we can. Also, any of the products that you guys did see in this video, you can always check out on our website at flfreedivers.com. See you in the next one.